All right, that's enough of these stock videos. I think it's about time that I shine some light again on what I believe was the most underrated cryptocurrency. So if you're ready for me to put you on some game, let's get right to it. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the Brown Gen. This video will not be financial advice. We just broke out into all time highs for Cardano and I know many of you are out there celebrating and with good reason. You had the foresight and the conviction to buy and hold this cryptocurrency. Now I made a video on Cardano sometime during the last bull run. In that video, I had said that Cardano would go on a massive run this year, but despite that, I thought crypto was about to get a massive correction. So I said, wait to buy in at a much lower price. While that correction came, Cardano sold off and it went dormant for about four to six weeks. People's faith in crypto was at an all time low and now it's dusting off its wings and rocketing toward the moon. It's crazy. Every time something sells off, people want nothing to do with it. And then when it's back at all time highs, all you hear is, is it too late? Well, in my personal opinion, which is not financial advice, I don't think it is, but we'll cover that a little later on. Right now, Cardano is sitting at $2.56 US. You can see on CoinMarketCap, it's now the number three cryptocurrency edging out Binance by about $8 billion. It's only behind Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's good company to be with. Can you believe this? I remember when this coin was way outside the top five and now it's a real contender sitting at $82 billion, making it the size of many large cap companies in the stock market. So the real question is, why is Cardano going up? Well, beyond just the fact that we're in a crypto bull run, you can see that it's almost leading the pack in growth. This is because there's a huge upgrade coming for the Cardano network on September 12th, the Alonzo upgrade. This upgrade will address one of the network's most glaring deficiencies, the lack of smart contracts, and as such has generated a lot of excitement. Through smart contracts, they can incorporate more applications like decentralized finance or what you guys know as DeFi. And that's going to allow for automatic crypto lending and trading. And we're going to see other applications pop up on the network as well. While smart contracts and DeFi will be the biggest features from Alonzo, this upgrade will also bolster concepts like tokenization and NFT ideas. My favorite part of the Cardano network was and will always be that the network is governed by the community and those who own the tokens, ADA, which is named after ADA Lovelace, they are the ones who get to vote on the decisions of the network. With all of the various cryptocurrencies running around out there, Cardano has a finite cap on its quantity at 45 billion coins, and it has about 71% in circulation right now. This means that the inflation rate will continue to decrease until it can technically become deflationary, as more Cardano will be lost to human error every year than is gained through staking pools. Now, if you're finding value in this video, please do me a favor and hit that like button to help me with the YouTube algorithm. And while you're at it, also subscribe. You can see on this chart, the wild ride that Cardano has had. Peaking on May 15th, and just tumbling to half of its value after that. To be honest, every single cryptocurrency followed the same pattern. When it crashed, this was the perfect time to buy, and this was when I loaded up so many more coins. I have a set it and forget it mentality when it comes to cryptocurrencies, but that doesn't mean that I'm blindly investing. Look back to any of my crypto videos and you'll see that Cardano was one of my top four coins and the one that I believed in the most. We finally broke out beyond that level of resistance and this is great news for Cardano. Considering that we haven't even broached high levels of margin in the crypto market yet, you can kind of extrapolate where we'll be able to get to when the margin comes into the market. At the end of the day, this all bodes very well for a very promising future for Cardano. I don't even think that a price around six to $8 each is out of the cards for this year. And I know that it might sound a little crazy. Now Ethereum, which is widely considered to be the main competitor to Cardano, has also seen some amazing price appreciation recently. And this follows their own upgrade via the London hard fork, which reduced the inflation rate for Ethereum. This is because the base fee that is paid in Ethereum will now be burned ultimately leading to less available Ethereum on the network. Ethereum already has smart contracts on their network, but it currently operates with an inferior proof of work mechanism. This is why this update is so important for Cardano. They will have smart contracts, but they'll be on a proof of stake platform. Proof of stake is better because it's more energy efficient, it has lower barriers to entry, and it has stronger immunity to centralization among other benefits. 
Now, if you want access to our Discord, guidance on investing and notifications on buying opportunities, the link to our Patreon is in the description below. At the end of the day, Ethereum will eventually also be a proof of stake network and this will likely come with the Ethereum 2 upgrade and people will argue back and forth on which crypto will come out on top. I don't think there is a world where they both don't see sufficient usability. And I've heard some people on YouTube refer to this as a positive sum game where one party can advance its position without other parties suffering. Both are great cryptocurrencies and if you've been watching my crypto videos in the past, you'll know that I'm bullish on Ethereum, Cardano as my biggest holdings, and then Bitcoin and Ripple or XRP. If you're a crypto enthusiast, these are the four coins that I think should be in your portfolio. Cardano is still very young in its life cycle, and because of that, it doesn't get the same kind of press that Bitcoin and Ethereum command. This will limit its institutional exposure, but not for too much longer. There is a lot of hype around the Alonzo upgrade that's happening on September 12th. Hopefully it's not delayed, Back in May, I had posted some videos around Dogecoin and the pump that it would receive when Elon Musk went on SNL. And that was a buy the rumor, sell the news event because the event would do nothing to improve the project. This upgrade further legitimizes Cardano, so I have no intention of selling the majority of my position. That's of course what I think, and I could be wrong, so you make whatever decision is best for you. Personally, I don't think it's too late to get into Cardano, but I wouldn't be foolish and buy all of it at once. With stocks, I like to buy in one thirds. In crypto, I recommend buying your position in one tenth. So you get some exposure and then you can buy more on dips. And now for the controversial part. I'm also liquidating my position in Cardano as we go up the chart. And that's so I don't end up being a witness to this whole thing. I'm not here to get attached to a project. I'm here to maximize my gains. For that reason, I'll be selling 10% of my Cardano at $3, $4, $5, $6, and $8. And if you're keeping up, that means I've sold half my Cardano at that point. I have further exit points for smaller fractions of my position later on, but this way I take profits while still keeping exposure in a project that I really like and believe in. I know saying this might upset some people because they don't like the idea of ever selling, but that's how you see your gains evaporate. Think back to Ethereum this summer. It doubled in a few weeks. How many of you kept it and watched your gains deteriorate just as fast? Crypto is a game changer, but you also have to be smart about it. By selling out portions of your position, you can take advantage of future dips or sell-offs if they happen. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on everything I just said, and make sure that you smash that like and that subscribe button before you head out. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.